Good morning, Falcon fans. Thank you for joining me on this latest edition of the 95 North Falcons Talk Show. I am your host, Berto, coming at you with some news out of Atlanta, where we see the Atlanta Falcons have signed 26-year-old linebacker Frank Jinder, formerly of the USFL. Frank Jinder was coached by none other than Mike Nolan, our ex-defensive coordinator. Mike Nolan um, is the head coach of the Michigan Panthers up in the USFL. Uh, Frank Jinder, man had a stout year last year had a great um had a great year uh finished as defensive player of the year um had 104 tackles and three interceptions and a sack uh so author and terry you know just really searching for the next gem so to say um and they might have something here with frank jinder man it's a very active and athletic linebacker very twitching uh kind of reminds me from the from the uh, clips that i've seen of them you know Similar to what we have now with Caden Ellis, uh, but nonetheless, man, uh, we know that Caden Ellis, Troy Anderson will be the starters. Uh, we saw him from Friday's game. The the backups, uh, Nate Landman and Michael Walker, did a great job uh, Friday night against the Miami Dolphins. But where it concerned me was the backups to those two gentlemen there, where we saw Tay Davis, uh, Mike Jones Jr. come in, and Tay Davis, uh, as we know, he's a special teams uh, type of player. Uh, had some blown assignments in the run game, taking uh, bad angles and uh, hitting wrong gaps. Um, but, you know, that's kind of to be expected from a guy that only knows the special teams world. Uh, so I think that Frank Jinder can be inserted into that role. Frank Jinder having experience already in the NFL, uh, having played for the Miami Dolphins and New, or uh, New Orleans Saints in 2018, 2019. And I believe he had a, a short stay with the Arizona Cardinals in 2019, if I'm not mistaken. Uh but, yeah, so I think he can come in and supplant uh, Tay Davis and, um, and, and be another, uh, you know, another viable backup. Uh, I loved what I saw from Mike Jones Jr., man, uh, undrafted uh, linebacker out of uh, LSU. Kid was flying all over the place, man. Reminded me of Debo Jones, and not just because he has the forty-five, the number forty-five, and uh, having the last name Jones, but you know we just saw him out there, you know, from pillar to post, man, just making plays, very active. Um, yeah, I think had a couple tackles with a sack. But back to Frank uh, Jinder, man. Love what Arthur and Terry continue to do, and is just have a. Um, fluid transactions, you know, within the roster for competition, and that's what they base themselves on is just sole competition. Uh, I think Frank Jinder could pot potentially sneak into sneak onto the roster, uh, like I just mentioned, and uh, probably uh, supplant um, Nate, uh, Tate, excuse me, Tay Davis because there has to be a uh, corresponding move made in order to make room for uh, Frank Jinder. But I'm liking what I've seen out of the young man, 26 years of age, 6'1". Um, Coached by you know a, a pretty good defensive coordinator and Mike Nolan, as we all know from back in the, back in the days with the Atlanta Falcons. But folks, let me know what you uh, let me know your thoughts, man. Let me know what you think about this Frank Jinda signing to our Atlanta Falcons, and let me know what you think about the overall performance of our Falcons Falcons linebackers from Friday night's uh, victory over the Miami Dolphins. This your boy Berto, your host with 95 North Falcons Talk Show. I will talk to y'all soon, man. Peace.